welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make vegan Italian style noodles and I already created some short noodles from sweet potatoes. So I have about two medium sweet potatoes and what I'm going to do, I'm going to boil them, but um, today I'm not using any oil. Instead, I'm going to use a little bit of vegetarian broth. I'm going to add eight ounces of white mushrooms into my pan. And also add one onion and about five cloves of garlic with it. I know the mushrooms are going to release some water, uh, but I want to give a, a little bit of start. So I'm going to add a little bit of, as I mentioned before, a little bit of vegetarian broth. One half cup, and this is my homemade um, vegetarian broth, but you can use water instead if you don't have any. Okay, so I will come up to the stove and start boiling process. I have it on medium heat, and I will cook it until soft and nice. While my mixture is boiling, I'm going to create tomato sauce from diced tomatoes. And I have one can, which I'm going to add in my blender now. I also have roasted red pepper leftovers, and I'm going to go ahead and dump that with the liquid as well. So today is going to bring a lot of flavor with, with my sauce. Okay, so it's just a little bit. I say one fourth cup, but uh, I just don't want to waste it. So it's always good to use leftovers you have at home. And one half of lime. I'm, just, I'm a little stubborn today, but it's okay. And no lime at home? Use apple cider vinegar or lemon. I will go ahead puree my mixture now. Looking good? That's what we need. Easy peasy, like my granddaughter says. I'm checking on my mixture right now, mushroom mixture right now. It's, it smells amazing. I'll be soon ready to add other ingredients. I will just go ahead and mix that a little bit. As you see, the liquid almost evaporated from it. So I almost ready to add some other ingredients with it. So again, I'm not using any oil today. And I know it's going to be delicious. Looking great. Wow. Okay, I'm adding my short noodles, which I created from sweet potatoes. Two cups. I'm going to add small paprika to taste now. Coming taste. Black pepper to taste. Crushed red pepper to taste. A little bit of chili powder. Just a little bit. And salt. Just a little bit. I will go ahead and give it a little stir. It's sauce I just created. Going in. I'm going to stir it one more time. And let it, let it cook for about 10 minutes the whole kitchen smells great. I know it's going to be great dish. Healthy and great. And I will actually turn my heat down 
to medium low. No. My meal is almost ready, but in addition to what I have in my pot, I will eat adamami with it, and I have a frozen one. One half cup. Okay. That just to add a little bit of protein, extra protein, and of course, for the extra flavor as well. In about two cups of kale. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mix that well. Loving this already. Looks so beautiful. And I know it's going to be delicious. So about five more minutes. My mixture is almost ready. There'll be one more thing which I'm going to add. My favorite nutritional is a little bit of more vitamins and protein. It's not going to hurt. One tablespoon. There you go. Mix my mixture one more time. And soon I'm going to taste it. Cannot wait. I know it's delicious. And most importantly, it's healthy. Healthy meal. All right. Healthy color bar. Full of protein. Meal. It's time for me to taste my beautiful dish. Wow. I'm so excited. Nastrovia. Wow, it's amazing. All the combined flavors between sour, sweet, and spicy. Wow, very, very unique, very unique dish. Mm. Wow. And as I mentioned before, very, very healthy. It's very fast and simple as well. Hmm. So, so good. Hopefully you enjoy my recipe. If you did, like me, subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet, and leave me a comment. Don't forget to go vegan for animals. I will see you next time in my new video and have a great evening, everyone. Bye.